In this episode of the Globe News Report, Elkhart County has been improving for the past five years with the help of vibrant communities. A new art exhibit has launched on the campus of Goshen College. And a look back at the best of Globe News this past year. It's all coming up right here on the Globe News Report. In the Globe Studios on the campus of Goshen College, I'm Colin Eccles. And I'm Amelia Turnbull, and this is the Globe News Report. Amelia, it's Christmas time, and I am loving our outfits today. Me too, Colin. I think we really understand the idea of Christmas spirit, and I feel very festive right now. For sure. I'm absolutely thrilled about the end of the semester and the upcoming holiday. What are your plans for Christmas? So I'm going home for Christmas, and I'll work at Lowe's. I'm just very excited for that Christmas time at Lowe's this year. What about you, Colin? I'm going home as well, spending time with my family, going on a trip to see my dad's family that I haven't seen for a while. Just really excited. Of course. Speaking of being home, I had the chance to talk to the leaders of vibrant communities to learn how they have improved Elkhart County and the home we have here. The goal, to empower residents, spark creativity, and build community. The results are heartwarming. Vibrant communities is a quality of place initiative, inspiring our residents to love where they live, and live where they love. John Hunsberger and other vibrant community members have been working tirelessly to make Elkhart County a better place for its residents by listening to their needs and making changes. Well, we really want to make sure that we get out to the community, have those conversations, listen to what people are prioritizing, what they, um, you know, what they value. The idea came in 2015 when Indiana started an initiative called Regional Cities. And as we began to think about how will our community respond uh, to this initiative, the idea of quality of place and vibrant communities bubbled out of those conversations. Vibrant Communities has led many different projects in the Michigan area, like improving downtowns, park facilities, and their biggest project, improving the Goshen Theater. Seeing and supporting and advocating for um, things like the Aquatic Center in Elkhart and the development of the River District there and uh, the amazing development here in Goshen uh, on Main Street and, and on Mill Race. Vibrant Communities is for the people. It is, um, is continually trying to be better and uh, we, we know that we uh, are continually striving to be representative of uh, our communities. The team is looking forward to the future, taking time to meet and discuss what this new five-year chapter will hold. Uh, the new goals uh, for vibrant communities uh, coming into this 2021 um, is really to understand the community, uh, what new priorities and new goals that the community has. Vibrant Communities is working on improving Elkhart County even more in the months to come. More information about their plans and future programming can be found at vibrantelkhartcounty.org. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Amelia Turnbull. It's amazing to see how much one group has worked to improve Elkhart County. It shows just how much they care about where we live. I had the chance to go to all the communities they've helped improve over the past five years, and they're incredible. Just the amount of work that they put into Elkhart County is wonderful. Coming up next, we'll take a look at a new art exhibit on the campus of Goshen College on the Globe News Report. Colin, have you ever been to an art museum? You know, I actually haven't, but I would be interested. Well, you're in luck because there's a new art exhibit at Goshen College showing off some pottery. 
Aaliyah Campbell has the story. A new artist has set up their work in the Hirschberger Art Gallery, Cindy Cooper, a local potter from Middlebury. We interviewed her at the exhibit opening to gain insight on her work one piece at a time, mainly based around coral reefs and the ocean. 20 years of scuba diving and snorkeling in the um, coral reefs of the Florida Keys, and then I did some of that also in, in different Caribbean islands. What I, the connection between um, the photographs that I take underwater and the clay. Cooper has gained much experience in pottery throughout her life, starting at a young age. I started in eighth grade, believe it or not, at Goshen Middle School and um, fell in love with it. And then when, when I went to college, I knew that's what I wanted to um, do. Her pieces come in many shapes and sizes, including unique cutouts. John Mishler, the gallery's co-director, was one of the people to help set up the gallery, which made quite the impression on him. Oh, I really like it. It's, uh, I didn't realize she was working as large as she's been working in this, the past year or so. I thought she was making smaller things. So I really like her large vessels. And the theme that she uses of the, the Keys and Florida and the sea turtles and all that. The exhibit runs from November 7th to December 16th, so make sure to come check it out. This is Aaliyah Campbell reporting for The Globe News. That pottery looks incredible. I love that they were able to incorporate local artists in this new exhibit. It just brings everyone together through art. I agree. I'm always impressed with how potters can just make those designs that they do. I'll have to check out the exhibit sometime soon. When we come back, we will take a retrospective look at the highlights from this past year. college students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. I've had an amazing time working at Globe News this past year, and I'm so excited to look back at everything we accomplished and all the fun we had. I also had a great time working with the news this semester, and I cannot wait to do more next year. Let's take a look back at Globe News 2021. In the Globe Studios on the campus of Goshen College, I'm Amelia Turnbull. And I'm Zachariah Begley for the Globe News Report. Five Core Media's latest documentary, Blossers Park, made its debut recently to a fantastic reception at the Goshen Theater. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted everyone, and the Goshen Arts Council is no different in feeling the effects of the virus. NeighborWorks America put on a training for community members to come up with some ideas for bringing community together. If you're okay with a short drive, then look no further to Fashion Farm in Ligonier, a must-add stop for any fall fun adventure. These albums, Everyone in a Song Volume 2, which is what's coming out, and Volume 1, were based on a project we started uh, where we were taking commissions. I get stuck behind the trains all the time, going to something, either going to class or, you know, trying to leave campus in my car. I mean, I'm assuming you've gotten stuck behind the trains, too. Plenty of times. I've, <laughs> I grew up around this area. I know exactly what you're talking about. Although the ice rink will soon come to a close, there's a lot more activities and programs to look forward to in the community, and you can find out more about those at elkhartindiana.org slash parks. For Globe News, I'm Katie Day. Tasha Friesen, a 2015 Goshen College graduate, was one of the artists that set up a tent and displayed artwork to sell at this year's Arts on the Mill race. The trolley system in Goshen might be getting a new look. The city of Goshen is working with the Michiana Area Council of Governments on a multi-phase study to explore expanding public transit in Goshen. We were very happy with the grant we received from uh, the state of Indiana, uh, administered by DNR, Department of Natural Resources. For the first time, Downtown Goshen hosts its annual Fire and Ice Festival in February, almost two months after originally no. planned. But it doesn't look like the community oh, seems to mind. Wow. Zachariah Begley here reporting for Globe News from the Elkhart County Health Department here at 608 Oakland Avenue in Elkhart, Indiana. The sibling group started when our mom suggested the idea. None of us, for some reason, had ever thought of the idea before. We've all sang and done music on our own, 
It's Girl Scout cookie season, which means that Girl Scouts from across the nation are selling Girl Scout cookies this year. Steel Heels are back on the road and recently played at the Ignition Music Garage in downtown Goshen. More information on the group and their upcoming album can be found online at steelwheels.com. It's great to be here with you this morning, Amelia. So Halloween is coming up and I have to ask, what is your Halloween costume going to be? So I'm actually going with a group and we're going to be lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! So I'm going as a panda bear this year. What about you, Gabby? But Director of Events, Adrian Nesbitt, took the necessary precautions to make sure community members were able to get out and support not only local businesses, but also the artists. <laughs> and how many times have you guys been here? It's like a oh, box every of Every year. Oh. Every year, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, year. I have pictures of them like their baby carriers. <laughs> yep. Peeps and Ash and Eat and Goshen are two Smashburger joints new to the area. Liam, it's great to be here inside the Globe Studios. I must say, I'm really excited. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. What are you most thankful for this holiday season? I'm thankful for getting through this semester, and I owe that to my family and friends and my mentors on campus. Apple picking and more fall fun is just around the corner in the Michiana area. Pritchard's Apple Orchard is a staple fall fun destination for most people in the community. Disc golf seems like a lot of fun. I might have to try it out sometime. I'm glad we have a new course in Goshen. Disc golf does sound fun. We should have a globe outing to support the new area. There's two different options on the link. We can either, you can either get them directly shipped from the bakery or we can deliver them to you. So Vital Passage started out as a short, like, 10-minute documentary, but we quickly realized how intricate the story was, how it needed more time, energy, and research to really do it justice. You know, Amelia, it's, I've used the trolley a few times, and it'd be really nice if they could add a few more stops because it, it really helped and make it more useful. You're right, Zach. I've used the trolley multiple times, and it's going to help people to get around easier. That's it for us today. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at 91 on the Globe, and our website, globeradio.org, for more news coverage. Until next time, this has been the Globe News Report. I'm joined now with all of the Globe staff, and I'm really happy to see you guys. You all look absolutely incredible. <laughs> As am I. And that is all for this edition of the Globe News Report. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at 91.1 The Globe. And check out our website, globeradio.org, for more videos and local content. From all of us here at the Globe News Report, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas!